Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to make traditional Spanish horchata. If you've never had horchata before, you are missing out because horchata is a very delicious bevy. Now, it's a Spanish type bevy, but you can also get it down in Mexico and you can also get it in Texas um, and that's where I've tried it before, a beautiful, really authentic one. So I'm hoping that these tiger nuts are going to help me really get that authentic flavor. If you don't have tiger nuts or access to tiger nuts, then you can always use rice um, instead of the tiger nuts and that is a good substitute and that's what a lot of people use. However, tiger nuts have come to the USA and you can get them all over the place now, uh, but we've never really had them here before until tiger nuts brought them here. So check them out at tigernutsusa.com. They've got the um, raw uh, unpeeled just like these. This is what tiger nuts look like if you've never seen them before. They're actually little tubers. They're not nuts at all. They kind of look like little wrinkly chickpeas or sort of like a nasturtium node if you've ever seen those on nasturtium plants. That's kind of what their pods look like. However, they're very, have a nice sweetness, a very um, natural sweetness. Uh, it kind of tastes coconutty. It kind of tastes a little bit vanilla-y. So it's a really delicious drink. And so essentially what we're doing is we're kind of making a nut milk, a tiger nut milk a nut free nut milk right <laughs> now tiger nuts are gluten free lactose dairy free um, they are vegetarian vegan paleo diet friendly so this is kind of a healthy thing except we are going to add a little bit of sugar now um, i'm going to use a cinnamon stick a uh, half a cup of brown sugar you could use any kind of sugar you like if you want to use coconut or palm sugar feel free to do that and grate that in but i'm going to use probably about a half a cup of brown sugar or you can use honey you can use agave nectar you know be creative or you can use stevia so what i've done is i've soaked for 24 hours at room temperature these tiger nuts and i've just covered them with about two inches of water so I don't want to drain these because I actually want to use this liquid that's in here as well. We're going to get the most flavor as possible. Need a blender. We're going to blend everything up and then we're going to strain it. So you're going to use a fine mesh strainer, a nice fine, fine one, or you can use um, cheesecloth. Barring that, you can use clean nylons, leggings, or anything like that, kind of pantyhose, right? That will work, or, or a nut milk bag, the ones that are specifically purposed for creating um, healthy nut milks, okay? All right, so what I want to do is get all my tiger nuts into my blender. I have about a quart of soaking liquid um, from the tiger nuts. So I'm gonna use about half of that right now in the blender. Cinnamon stick goes in, whole, just like that. And about a half a cup of sugar or whatever sweetener to get it to a nice sweetness. You can always add sweetness, but you can't take it away. So don't add too much, add it slowly but surely. I'm pretty sure that this is the sweetness I want. I've done this before, so in that goes. And don't forget, tiger nuts have a lovely sweetness all on their own as well. All right, so we're gonna blend this up really, really well. Let her rip. You want things nice and smooth. All right, it's nice and smooth and creamy. You can see the consistency. Oh, and it smells like a dream. I like this uh, particular drink during the holidays because it has that kind of spicy spiciness that you're getting, right? That cinnamon that you're looking for during the holidays, uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter. But the, the Spanish and the, you know, they like to drink this in the summer over ice. So it's a really interesting bevy. So you're just gonna pour this over your sieve or into your nut milk bag or in your cheesecloth and you're gonna see a lot of solids okay and that's exactly what we want it's fine it's good stuff so I'm just gonna grab a spatula and I'm just gonna push any of that extra liquid through the sieve or squeeze the bag or whatever you're using okay squeeze all that liquid through this is beautiful stuff so this is what I have some gorgeous horchata and these are the solids, so they are pretty dry at this point. So back into the blender. We're not going to waste, waste not, want not. Back into the blender. We're gonna extract all the flavor we possibly can out of this. Use the rest of the soaking liquid. And to this batch, I'm actually gonna add just a pinch of salt. Everything that's sweet needs just a hint of salt to kind of play off of, and that just gives a more well-rounded flavor. All right. Blend that up again till nice and smooth. Let all that stuff marinate in there with the water. All right, that's well blended. And you're gonna repeat the same thing. 
Okay, pour that into your strainer. Get everything out of there and let that just strain right through. Okay, you're also going to push this batch through for any excess liquid to squeeze it. So you can discard this, uh, these solids if you like, or you can add it to a dough for cookies, for instance, or something like that, or a um, crust of some kind, or you could probably add it to some of your pet's foods. You know, um, this would be a healthy thing for a lot of your animals as well. If you still feel like there's more liquid, you might wanna use your hands to squeeze. They're your best tool after all. The aroma of the cinnamon is outrageous. Beautiful. Now this is pretty dry. You can see it's just kind of crumbly. It did a pretty good job. Now it's a shame to waste all of that good fiber and nutrition in here too. And this, my friends, is a horchata of champions. So let me show you how beautiful and creamy and homogenous this is, right? It's kind of foamy and, and light. And let's take a quick taste test just to make sure it's the right sweetness for you and the right spice level. You can always add a little bit more ground cinnamon if you like. Oh my goodness. That is it right there. That is so unbelievably delicious. And at first try, you're going to think, huh, in the summertime? And then you keep drinking it over ice and you're like, wow, that is fantastic. So put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and cool it up. If you want to have a beautiful picnic or a um, barbecue or a pool party or something, this is a really cool idea. Great for Cinco de Mayo even. And I can't wait to um, serve this up and show you what it's like. I'm going to give mom some of this. And don't forget, if you want to make this an adult treat, you can make use this for cocktails. It's a beautiful addition to um, add to Kahlua coffee chocolate flavors, um, coconut flavors, any tropical fruit flavors because it is kind of coconutty. That cinnamon gives a beautiful hint of the islands. It's awesome. I would suggest using a rum or a tequila. Even a vodka would be beautiful. Um, any kind of coffee liqueur, chocolate liqueur, fabulous. All right, so let's put this into the refrigerator. And before you serve it, you're just gonna wanna stir it up a little bit too. All right, my horchata has been chilling in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And I'm going to serve mom a virgin one and I'm gonna show you a kicked up version. This is my version of a coconut tiger nut hard horchata. I'm gonna be using coconut rum, so you can use whatever kind of rum you like or a spiced rum even, but the coconut rum has a nice, beautiful flavor that plays off the tiger nuts because tiger nuts taste that little bit of coconut in, the, in their own right. So here we go. Okay, now that my horchata has been chilling, it's been chilling for just over an hour now. But if you want to chill it longer, feel free. And it'll last for three days in your refrigerator, just so that you know. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you the hard one first. For this beautiful coconut and tiger nuts hard horchata, I'm going to use the coconut rum. So about one ounce worth for one cocktail. And that goes. And I'm just going to shake it over ice. If you wanted to do a frozen uh, blender horch hard horchata, feel free to do that. That's no problem. And I'm going to use at least three ounces of this gorgeous horchata. Make sure you stir it back up and we're going to shake it up. I'll make mom's virgin drink alongside mine and just strain that into your glass. I'm going to serve it in a margarita glass today or daiquiri glass, gorgeous, spicy and amazing and delicious. Woo! Moms, I'm gonna serve right over ice. Oh, she's gonna love this. Mom's never had this before. I am going to sprinkle cinnamon on top. I'm gonna to freshly grind some all over the top for that extra bit hit of cinnamon. I'm going to garnish with a beautiful orange slice. These are Mandora oranges. They are glorious. Orange goes nicely with cinnamon, those nice warm flavors. And I'm going to garnish with a bit of mojito, fresh mojito mint from my garden. Absolutely beautiful. So there's the alcoholic version and alcoholic version and the virgin. Beautiful. All right, mom. One goes to you. You ready? Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, how beautiful is that, Kim? It is kind of beautiful, oh, isn't it? Oh, it makes me feel like Mexico or Spain or somewhere like that. Well, now, wait till you taste it. Oh, let me just dump this little bit of mint in there. <laughs>
That's mojito mint from our garden. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste mine. Delicious and fresh so that mint. Oh, mint came out really good. Oh, mine is ridiculous. That is so good. It might become your very favorite cocktail. Oh, yeah, mm. That's an authentic horchata, mom. So what do you think? Give me that every day. Yeah? <laughs> Isn't it interesting served over ice, but creamy? And, you know, it could be breakfast tea. Yeah. Or afternoon little pick me up. Yeah. Or evening cocktail before you go to bed and have to sleep. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? It's nice for kids too. You know, it you you controlled the amount of sugar. Don't forget, one um, one can of pop, one can of soda pop has up to 16 teaspoons of sugar in it. So you've controlled what's going on there. At least you know what happened, and you're using very healthy ingredients, organic ones at that too. This is awesome, and I like it with a little bit of the orange squeezed into it too. Woo. You like that orange with it? The mint is a nice touch. Mm. Oh, that is fresh. <laughs> you have to serve cocktails with snacks. Mm. That is divine. The only thing different you might have to do is make more than one batch. You're going to love this stuff. Horchata. If you've never tried it, try it. Again, if you don't have tiger nuts, try it with rice, cooked rice, okay? It's and very good that way. You could even dress it up with a edible flower. Yes, it would be beautiful with an mm. edible flower on there. Mm. Absolutely, mom. I agree. So that's how you do it. That's how you make a traditional Spanish horchata. Now you're going to love this recipe. It's very simple to do. Uh, it doesn't take very long and you get some awesome results. You're going to love it. So okay. this is a very easy recipe to do. I hope that you try it. And it's, you know, it might be even fun to do with the kids as well. Okay. So check out tigernutsusa.com for your hookup for tiger nuts for your horchata fix because you're going to want one. <laughs> That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV and Amazon. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going on in your culinary world, right? Be a champion in your kitchen. Any deliciously. Bye.